good use of body parts. I have two hands. And you use them so well. Oh, thank you. And I feel that like all like I feel that in my arm. Oh. Wonderful. So before I move to the other side, I'm just gonna add in. I'm just gonna do a little a little slide just up her neck to kind of give her a little balance, even though we're not mm. we're gonna start back how we started the right side when we go to the left side, but I just want to give a little love. Up the shaft of her neck. That's kind of strange, but I said it. That's all right. I'm here for it. It was worth it. We try to use a little bit of anatomy, but we want to keep it to where uh, if this is just the public working at home, that you guys will understand what we're talking about. Right? So shaft of neck it is. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come over here and do our receiver's left side of their body. Once again, we're going to pull their arm out and we're going to give some love, warm up this tissue here. We're going to prepare our receivers for receiving to receive some deep shoulder pec work, neck work, rotator cuff, anatomy. So I kind of think of this as making snakes. I like to think about making Play-Doh snakes, right? You have a little snake arm by the end of this. Hmm. These are like sticks. Not for long. Oh. Good. One of the best things and most common things we hear after working on people is I feel longer. I feel like I lighter. I feel more space. And uh, this definitely is going to create that sensation in the arm. More in the peck or all over. I always like to start when I'm working with someone and just tell them, hey, you know, if at any point I'm giving you too much pressure or not enough, let me know. Feel free to have open communication throughout the session because that is most important. I will watch her face or her eyebrometer, as we like to call it. Listen to her breath to adjust. If I'm using too much, I can just sit back on my feet more and to take my weight off of her. I spend a little extra time warming up the arm and pec for Danielle once again because she is a little more tender, doesn't like as much pressure, and so it will be easier for her to receive if I do this. But actually on this side, I'm going to show you how we can use a blanket to cushion and soften the work. It'll dampen the sharpness of my knee into her pec. And so I figure why not, since I know you want it. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but also then you, you guys at home will be able to see what we mean when we talk about using a blanket or like being else a shirt. So you get a shirt right next to you. Yeah, fold that bad boy up, toss it, right. toss it across the pec. Don't let anything stop you in your body journey. Yes. Body. You know, I'm actually going to use a towel because that's a little less material, right? And it's right here. So depending on, you know, say if you start working with your receiver and, oh, it's still too sharp, you know, add a little bit more. You know, feel free. There's no, there's no rules except don't hurt yourself or your receiver, right? Yeah. Sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drape this across in a way that doesn't make her feel funky and not putting across her face or her throat. But do be aware where her body is, right? So we're going to be below the collarbone, above the breast tissue. I might unfold this just one. We'll see how that feels. So I'm going to come in deep breath in. I'm kind of, I'm hovering right now, right? And then once she starts to breathe out, I'm slowly leaning forward and taking my knee down. It is not as sharp as the other side. So it's working, right? Yeah. Is the pressure still a little bit too much? Should I lighten no, up? It's good. I feel you shaking. No, it's because I need it. Okay. 